The film you are about to see is a simple and forward account of the effects of venereal disease, which may result from illicit sexual intercourse. If our country is to successfully defend our right to live the American way, it needs every one of you and requires you in the best possible condition. Any soldier who willfully or through neglect fails to maintain his body in this condition is a shirker who is throwing an extra burden on his comrades by requiring them to do his work as well as their own. The government is vitally interested in having you return to civil life with a better and stronger body than when you entered the army. This will ensure your preparedness for a successful civilian career and provide our nation with healthy and vigorous citizens to carry it safely through the critical years which lie ahead. Sergeant, as you are probably aware, a half a dozen new cases have broken out in camp during the past couple of weeks. And the medical officer has secured a print of War Department film on venereal diseases. I post this order for the soldiers to see the film. Yes, sir. about to witness to present it to you frankly and completely it is the story of the problem of venereal diseases in the military service from a medical standpoint. Now, obviously this film is shown to you not only for the benefit of your own personal good health but for that of your entire unit. Lights out. As an officer of the Army Medical Corps I wish to bring your attention to an important phase in the preservation of your health. The Army recognizes the risks present with a large number of men in the satisfaction of their sexual impulse. The greatest risk is that of venereal diseases acquired during the sexual act. You will ordinarily not contract sexual diseases if there is no sexual act performed. In that respect, continence, if not total abstinence, is the best of all preventives. However, in the event of contact with a contaminated woman, you must bear in mind that there are available to you, through your own medical corps, specific preventives and cures for specific infections. On that slide, there are many germs that you cannot see with the unaided eye. However, if we look through this microscope, we can see what is meant by a specific germ. Here is the organism which causes sleeping sickness. Here is the organism which causes malaria. And this, the specific germ of gonorrhea. This is the specific germ of syphilis. These germs, if allowed to enter the body, either through the skin or through mucus-lined openings, may destroy your life. The mucus-lined openings through which germs may enter your body are the mouth, the nose, and the urethral canal. As we go along, let us study the male anatomy. Most men know less about their own bodies than they do about their automobiles. Let us now examine the diseases these germs cause. This diagram will show you that the probability of acquiring syphilis during a man's life is one in ten. This chart indicates that the development of insanity many years after infection is ten times higher among those who received no treatment or inferior treatment. This form of insanity will require continuous treatment, probably for life. And the patient must be kept under guard at all times. Chancroid, known as uh, blue balls or soft chancre, is another form of venereal disease that can be acquired during sexual intercourse. Any of these complications may result from neglect or from a case treated by so-called clap doctors. Do not permit yourself to be treated by a quack or druggist. They will do you more harm than good. 
This man is taking not only his own life and sanity in his hands, but is endangering the health of all of his associates by not reporting to his own medical officer for treatment. I will now show you how you can avoid getting any of these diseases in the first place. If you have sexual intercourse, there are two things you must do. First, Keep something between you and the germs of venereal disease by using a good rubber. They should be purchased preferably from an army post exchange. Or if this is impossible, from a reliable drugstore. Rubber prophylactics should be free from holes, blisters, air bubbles, and all other defects in material or workmanship. Roll it up, roll it onto the penis. When you are through, unroll the rubber. You must now do these things as quickly as possible. First, urinate. Pass your water. Second, wash your hands, your penis, and the surrounding skin and hair thoroughly with soap and water. Third, get to the nearest prophylactic station for a treatment. Every minute is important. There is no sure method of preventing venereal disease if you expose yourself to it. These methods will prevent most infections if taken soon enough and performed thoroughly enough. In closing, let me emphasize, it is extremely important that you do not go on a drinking party and allow yourself to become so drunk that you get careless. Drunkenness is responsible for much venereal disease. Since a drunken soldier loses his judgment and becomes the victim through his own failure to take the precautions recommended to him by the medical corps of the United States Army. Men, you are a part of the greatest army in the world. To become soldiers in the first place, you had to have a strong body, health, and common sense. The purpose of this film has been to show you how to keep your health, preserve your body, and to help maintain the great esprit de corps of your organization. It is hoped that you will use your good common sense and continue to be good soldiers and citizens in the service of your country.